Welcome to another DIY project. This project is a very cheap but stylish mirror that can be made under $5. What you will need is a round 5 inch mirror, one or two glue sticks or some super glue, and 48 popsicle sticks. First you will need 16 popsicle sticks. And using some sort of cutter, cut only one end of the pop one end of the stick to a point. When you are finished with that, feel free to sand down those edges with a high grit sandpaper to remove the burrs or any imperfections. Next is to take a ruler and measure four centimeters from the round side to make a small mark on the stick. Do this on all 16 sticks. You can cheat by just lining them up and copying the same mark on all of the sticks so you do not have to measure each one out. Also, go ahead and remove any stickers or pads on the back of the mirror. Now take the first stick and glue it to the back of the mirror. Line up the mark to the edge of the mirror. This first step stick will represent 12 o'clock's position, just like the time on a watch. Now take the second stick and glue it to what would be 6 o'clock's position on the back of the mirror. Take two more sticks. Glue the first of the three exactly in the middle of 12 and 3 o'clock sticks. Continue this process with the remaining popsicle sticks all around the mirror until you are finished. You can see you have a perfectly formed circle of sticks when you are finished. Now count out 16 more sticks. Now, make this mark on the remaining 15 popsicle sticks. Take your preferred cutting utensil and cut the stick right on the line that you had made. You can see there are two sizes. Separate these two sizes as you go. You will need to use both sizes in this mirror. Set aside the smaller pieces and grab the longer sticks. You will be using the longer sizes right now. Save the shorter ones for later. Take your pieces now and cut the round end only into a point like you did on the first set of the sticks. Go ahead and sand them down rather quickly. Don't have to be perfect unless you want them to be perfect. When that is done, take your pieces and make a cut on the flat end. Don't cut to a point, just angle it in 
to make it fitting the pieces of the mirror easier. Now take that piece and from the pointed and sanded end, measure in five centimeters and make a small mark on the stick. Take one of those pieces and add glue to end of the stick and in between the mark you had made and the flat end. Place them on the mirror exactly in between the larger sticks that are already there. Make sure that they are nice and centered. Do this to all of your pieces until all gaps are filled. When you are done to all of those marks, you should be all lined up at the edge of the mirror. Now take the remaining 16 sticks and measure in four and a half centimeters and make a mark. Now cut the, the popsicle stick along the at line. You will be using only the shorter end. Take the other 16 sticks, the short sticks that you had already cut before and add them all together. Now take all of these short sticks and measure in three centimeters from the round end and make your mark. Now that these marks are made, take a flat end of the stick and cut angles on them. Now that the angles are cut, now we can take our mirror and all we have to do is line up our alignment marks with the other popsicle sticks to make sure that our pieces are centered when gluing on them. Remember only to glue past the alignment mark on the flat and angle cut side or else there will be glue showing when you flip your mirror over. Now that we have finished gluing them all on, we can inspect our work and see that all of the pieces are aligned with each other and with the center of each other. We can see that the front looks good too. When finished, you can add some cloth to the back to finish it off. You also can add a hanger of some sort to hang this on the wall. A simple hanger is just some thick string or some yarn that you can glue on the back to hang it on the nail. You also can paint these pieces before gluing this project together with some paint or some markers for a fun added creativity. That will do for today on DIY project videos for our mirror under $3. Have fun, don't forget to comment and rate this video and subscribe for some more DIY tutorials